You have thousands of photos, videos, and other kinds of files, all mixed together, and randomly placed into randomly named folders and subfolders. You want to separate them from one another, and place them year-wise, and month-wise, into folders and subfolders. Several commercial, and free software are available to do the job for you. Some are highly expensive. I have tried both, free and commercial versions. Most of them freezes after some time if you have a large number of files, to rename, and transfer. Some of them can only organize photos, but not videos and other kinds of files. There are some, that give error message, or skip message for most of the files, which they cannot move, or rename. If you are also facing such issues and seriously need a code that can help you in this regard, then this video is for you. I have organized pieces of Python codes into a function that can rename, and arrange all kinds of files, datewise. It can also separate files based on their extensions. For example you have a folder, A, containing subfolders, X, Y, and Z, all of them contains a mixture of all kinds of files. They have names, like this for example, but you want to rename them like this, with year and date etc. You want to divide them into folders year-wise. Each year folder contains months folders, and months folders contain dates folders. Each folder, in turn, contains files taken at that date. First let me show you the use of code, and then I will show you the code at the end. So let's begin. In this example, I show you how to rename, and organize all the files, datewise. At the same time, making a backup copy as well. You will need the path to the source folder as well as to the destination folder. This is for example your source folder. Inside this folder we have files and subfolders. Each of the subfolder in turn contains files randomly named and randomly put together. The first thing you should do is to create a destination folder. Now open your Python IDE. I am using Pyzo IDE. Type the function name. The name of the function is, Organize Files. Now you would need the path addresses to both the source as well as destination folders. First, let's copy the source folder address. Open the folder. Click here. Right click. Click copy. Now paste the path address enclosed in these inverted commas. Now add an additional backslash with each existing backslash. This step is compulsory. If you do not add another backslash, it will not work. Now copy the path addresses of the destination folder the same way you copied the source folder address. Paste it here, and add additional backslashes with already existing backslashes. Remember, you need double backslashes in the path address in Python. Press Enter. Transfer completed. Let's check now. You can see, the source folder has disappeared. Open the destination folder. This is the backup copy of all the files with their original names. These are the folders, in which files have been distributed according to their dates taken. If you open any of the years folder, you will see subfolders that represent months folders. When you open months folders, you will see days of the month folders. This is third day of the month. Here we have only one file. 
You can see, the file has been renamed with the date. You can open and check all other years and months folders. Now let's come to our second example. In this example we will organize all the folders, with their original names. We will not rename them. Let's suppose this is your source folder which contains your files. Again you will need to create the destination folder. Follow the rest of the steps as shown in the first example. Go to Paizo, type the command, Put the source folder address and destination folder addresses as shown in the last example. Now, type an additional thing. Rename equals false. And hit enter. Transfer completed. Check your destination folder. All things are done the same way as in the last example, except the files names. Now they have been organized with their original names. Let's come to example number 3. In this example, we do not want to keep the backup copy of files. Repeat all the steps, you did in the first example. Just add an additional option in the function. That is, copy equals false. When you hit enter, the files will be organized into datewise folders. This time we do not have the backup copy of the files. Let's come to the fourth example. In this example I show you how to move files without renaming and without keeping a backup copy. All the steps are the same, except, you add two things. Copy equals false, and rename equals false. Now let's come to our fifth example. Here I show you, how to separate JPG image files from rest of the files. Here also, all the steps are same. Only one thing is different. You need to add an additional option in the function. That is, just add, extn equals dot jpg. Press enter. Transfer completed. Now let's check. This is PNG file, that's why it is still in the source folder. You can see, in each folder only JPEG files have been separated from the rest of the files. See all the JPEG files have been organized datewise. OK, now let's come to the real thing. What is the code? To type code you need to have Python installed. If you don't have Python installed, then go to Paizo website. From there download Paizo and Anaconda. You can download other versions of Pythons as well. I like Anaconda. After download, install both of them.
After installation, open Piso. You can also move these windows from one side to the other. Now you can configure your Piso. This is an optional step. You do not need to do it. This is console window, where you type your commands. This is your script area where you type your code. To open a new script window, go to file and click new. Then type the following code. I will reveal the code, line by line. Just type the whole code exactly. This is the first line of the code. You have to strictly follow the indentations. If you make a slight mistake in indentation, the code will not give you the desired output. You also need to take care of the punctuations, symbols, and capitalization etc. Once you type the whole code, just press Ctrl plus Enter. Your function is ready to be used. Now let's take a look at this example. In this example we will be moving JPEG files without renaming them. You need to follow all the steps I showed you in the first example. You need to create a destination folder first. Then type the function. You need source folder address, destination folder address. Then type copy equals false, rename equals false and extn equals dot jpeg. Press enter. Transfer completed. Now check your source and destination folders and see the output. So that was all for today. Thanks for watching but don't forget to subscribe my educational, entertainment and animation channels. Thanks and bye.